Today we're doing an in-depth tutorial for the Moment Pro camera app version 3.1 and that starts right now. Hey friends, Ryan Camp with the Piedmont Motion Picture Company. Thank you so much for joining me today. Welcome to episode number 26 of the Piedmont Motion Picture Show. I'm really excited you're here. This channel is all about learning and growing as a filmmaker. So if you're interested, please consider subscribing and click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And let's become better filmmakers together. If you're not familiar with Moment the Company, they are makers of awesome lenses and accessories for your mobile phone. The products have high quality, great aesthetics and style, and I highly recommend that you check out their YouTube channel for more awesome content. Now it's no secret that I love the Filmic Pro app and what it can do to enhance your mobile video. But Filmic Pro is not the only kid on the block and Moment has their own awesome camera app as well. And while I do believe that the app has a little bit of growing left to do before it can compete with Filmic Pro, it does have some great features for video and photography. Plus at the time of recording this video, I believe that the Moment Pro camera app is about $10 cheaper than if you go and buy Filmic Pro outright. So let's download the app and open this bad boy up and I'm gonna show you guys all of the features this app has to offer for filmmakers. The Moment app gives you full manual control of your camera settings. The app is free to download, but a charge of $3.99 is needed to access the Pro manual controls. The app is available in the App Store and the Google Play Store. Keep in mind, however, that as of right now, video mode is only available for iOS, but it will be coming in the future to Android devices. The Pro controls will give you access to white balance, ISO, shutter speed, and focus. When you first launch the app, you'll need to allow permissions for the app to access your camera roll, locations, and microphone. The app boasts a ton of features for photography and videography. For photos, you can switch to RAW, JPEG, and TIFF formats. There's also support for the latest Apple file formats, 3D shutter where you can half press to focus and full press to take your image, the app also boasts live histogram, split focus, dual lens control, and video stabilization. Since this is a filmmaking channel, I'm going to just focus on the video functions for this tutorial. First, to unlock the full potential of this app, head into the settings screen and click Upgrade to Pro. This will unlock all of the manual controls. The settings menu is indicated by the three little sliders located right beside the record button. While we're here, you'll see that there are a ton of on and off buttons for the 3D shutter, histogram, and location tagging, as well as options for your photo captures and video capture formats. And another really cool feature is the option to apply a de-squeeze to images that are captured with the anamorphic lens. To switch to the front or rear facing cameras, Click the circular button located right beside the record button. To the far left of the bottom toolbar, you'll see a button to access your camera roll. To switch to video mode, first click the camera icon in the bottom right of the screen. Just above the record button, you'll see the options come up for manual controls. Here we have shutter speed, ISO, exposure, focus, and white balance. There is a dial that will become visible when the option is selected. And you can slide your finger across to adjust each option. Once you set each dial, you'll see a white bar become visible underneath each option, symbolizing that the setting is locked in place until you move the slider again. You can also double tap the option to unlock it and return it to auto mode. Keep in mind that when you pull up each option, they will be in auto mode and adjust automatically until you move the slider and adjust them yourself. On certain iPhone devices, just above the bottom toolbar, you'll see the 1x button. Click it and it will zoom your camera in to 2x. This is a quick method to increase your zoom distance. On the top toolbar, you'll first see a grid or guide button to the far left. This will display one of the three guide grids on the screen to help you compose your shots. Beside that is the flash button. Here you can toggle your flash on and off or set it to auto. Beside that, we have the image stabilization button. There are two options, auto or off. When you see the A pop up on this option, that means stabilization is on. 
Keep in mind that stabilization is not always great for every situation. Next is your resolutions. You can pick 720, 1080, or 4K. Basically any resolution that your phone will support. And to the right of that, you can choose your FPS. Remember that a lower resolution may be required for the higher FPS settings like 120 to 240. To the far right, you have options for which moment lens you are using with the app. This won't change the image, but it will give you some useful metadata, informing you of which lens was used for each video clip when you're sorting them later. If you tap anywhere within the image window, you'll see a focus reticle pop up. You can tap this on the screen to focus on your subject. If you tap the screen with two fingers, it will separate the reticle into separate reticles, one for exposure and one for focus. Double tap it to return to normal. These can also be locked down by holding down on the reticle until it turns blue. And that's about it guys. I think that this app is a really great option, especially for those that want an affordable, solid video and photography app all in one. Although I still prefer the Filmic Pro app due to its expanded features like presets and color profiles, I'm curious to see how this awesome little app grows and improves over time. Before we finish up, let's take a look at some footage that I shot with my Moment Pro camera app and my iPhone 8 Plus. Like I said earlier, I still believe that Filmic Pro is probably your best option for enhancing your mobile video, but if you're looking for a cheaper option and you want something that can do photography really well, then I think the Moment Pro camera app is a really great choice. Okay guys, question of the day. Have you had a chance to personally use the Moment app? If so, what are your thoughts on how it stacks up against Filmic Pro? What features would you like to see added? Let us know in the comments below.
Before we go, I wanna let you guys know that we just launched a new merch store over on Teespring, and I'm gonna be adding new designs all the time. So if you wanna support the channel, please head over there, check it out, and pick yourself up a shirt. I hope this video has been very beneficial to you, and if it has, please consider subscribing, and please give it a thumbs up so people can find it in the search. Thanks for coming along on this filmmaking journey with me. I am Ryan, and I will see you guys on the next Piedmont Motion Picture Show.